I believe this is the time for new ideas to be spoken. I, I, I believe it's what's called for because of the direness of the situation. And I believe that it's, that the discomfort of what's happening on the planet needs a match and it needs to be matched by our willingness to be uncomfortable in bringing in the solution. It's never going to be easy. If it were easy, it, we wouldn't be in this state. So I think we need, uh, my, for me, I need to have a certain amount of my time with people who I know are sharing this journey so that I know I'm not alone. And I think that's where your program is so important for people to be in connecting. It's like a buddy system, you know, when you're out on this adventure. <laughs> and I think the other part is to know that sometimes just exposing somebody, if, if, if I'm not attached to somebody getting it <laughs> the way I see it, uh, it really helps in communication. And I think that's a lot easier said than done because the, there's a lot at stake, right? This old paradigm is very dangerous and it's very widespread. So people aren't awake to the possibility of what's really going on and needs, needs to come to play. It's dangerous. And so I found it challenging not to react to that sometimes. Like, come on, you know, this isn't inconsequential, your closed mindedness or your the way that all these systems are built on scarcity. But I realized, you know what, it, it doesn't work. Nobody wants to be made wrong and uh, told to change. And that instead, if we simply represent our truth as we understand it, invite people into the possibility of exploring something without having to relinquish their old worldview to do so and then let let that be um i know well there's two reasons i think that works one is i think sometimes people you know they'll need a few times of hearing something before taking it seriously and you may be the first time they're hearing about it so you don't see any reaction, or maybe you get a bunch of resistance, but you're setting the stage for another person to do it. Someone's going to be the third person, or the you know there will be the third input, and it, and it happens that more and more people are uh, willing willing to explore consciousness in this way and science in this way. So I think. For me, just being clear about it myself, and and I'll tell you, the more I've learned the more clear I am. I, I feel very sure that um, there is a new world coming, <laughs> that we are in a transition, and I am honored to be a part of that. And when people are uncomfortable with me or with Thrive or with what we're talking about or whatever, it's like, well, luckily there are a whole lot of people who, who aren't uncomfortable with it, and I get to hang out with them some. And uh, the others, I, there's always something you can relate to. I mean, that's the other part. That if someone has a different world, it's not because they wanna mess things up. It's because they really believe that this old other way of seeing things is somehow gonna hold the ticket to a better world also. Do you remember that, you know, for all but a very small fraction of people, uh, people want a better world. It's just a different idea about how to get there. And so it's more fun to hang out with the ones who have similar ideas about how to get there, but it can be more fruitful sometimes to hang out gently and honestly, transparently and without agenda with, uh, with others. <laughs>